Yeah, g'day. Welcome to part three of the uh, dual motor Suron build I've been working on. Uh, it's been quite a while since my last video. Had a bit of trouble getting parts. <clears throat> yeah, the pandemic's really slowed stuff down, but here's where we're at. Got our little motor installed here. Like this. Got our transmission installed. And it looks magnificent. I'm super happy with it. So, let's have a look at it in operation. Yeah, it's really good. Everything fit really well, which is surprising given I just measured this with basically a tape measure. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever nailed a design off straight off the bat this good. But really good clearance to everything. The chain runs through there really nice. There's clearance off all the bosses on the motor. All the original guards can stay in position. Um, I've actually taken this one off just for this video, but this still goes back on. I didn't have to really modify any of that. Change these to socket head cap screws. The hex heads are a pain in the ass. So yeah, so this motor, it's a Nova 15. Um, it's good for 12.5 kilowatts of mechanical power. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get out of this original motor. People have been getting 30 kilowatts, but burns out pretty quick. I think I could probably get 26. Should be enough for this. Uh, in terms of gear ratios, uh, well, this this is 138 kV. I don't know exactly what the original motor is. I think it's about 105 kV from lots of internet research, but no one really knows. Uh, so I'm running a 17 tooth and then a 20. Uh, a 20 tooth and then a 48 tooth so if you do the math that that works out pretty good uh, in terms of gearing I don't really know what I'm going to run yet probably um, for the motor well off-road or trail riding probably be I'll just run the standard I think it's a 48 tooth um, probably on the motard version I'll probably run the 48 as well. I've got this little guy here. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really small. That's going to give me some serious speed. If I want to go for a speed record or something. So, cables. Um, I think I'm going to route them. They pop out here. So, I don't know, I'll probably route them just out through here, then down here. This is going in the garbage. I'm going to run a couple of MGM Compro speed controllers. Um, they're sponsoring me for this build, so check out their website. They make really good speed controllers. I've used them for years, and uh, great customer support. Very easy tunable too. Easily programmable. So I think that pretty much covers everything at this stage. I'll get the speed controllers in the next couple of weeks, and the battery pack's been built, so I'll do all the wiring. And uh, we'll get her on the dyno and see what she makes. Okay, we'll see you next time.